and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponers. I am back with an updated stockpile tour for September, basically October of 2020. And this will probably be the last stockpile tour of 2020. I periodically like to check in with these updates and I didn't really have a couponing haul to film for today. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do an updated stockpile tour. And y'all, it is amazing. I got this all cleaned and reorganized because we all know how hard it is to keep a clean stockpile right so um yeah i'm just gonna walk you guys through everything i've been couponing for almost six years i supply for five people on a regular basis actually six and then several times throughout the year i will give stuff to my cousins you know my aunt and uncle uh, my other grandma i will give stuff to people constantly so this is not all just sitting here i donate i just donated a ton of stuff to the Salvation Army and to the soup kitchen. So I give stuff out constantly. I don't just hoard everything for myself. But through extreme couponing, we're able to do that. You're able to take these things, all this product, and be a blessing to people. And that's what I love about couponing. So let's just start up here with the stockpile tour. And there is this section. There actually is the cleaning section. So we'll look at all that together. Yeah, all right. So this hasn't changed much from last time. If you saw my last stockpile tour in July, if you want to compare it to what we're at now, I've been really rebuilding since the whole COVID-19 lockdowns. Ohio was on a lockdown for like three months. Um, we were told not to go out if it wasn't essential. And I had a very big stockpile. And so I decided not to go out couponing. So I really lived off of this stockpile. And a lot of things I did run out of, but I was able to replenish once I got back. So you'll see some differences if you saw that now. Trial sizes, this is pretty much stayed the same. I'll be honest, I don't really use too many of these. Um, I need to try to donate these like around Christmas. Um, and I'm planning another donation soon, too. More trial sizes. Yeah. Um, and there also are cosmetics in this one. I just donated a ton of these, so that's why there's not very many. All right, so this whole shelf is hair care. This is the thing I probably have the most stuff in my stock. It's free all the time, so... Yeah, I try to have it separated by, like, type or whatever, but I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I just throw them up there when there's no more room. Um, I have lots of hair products. Lots of more hair products. Lots of hair products. Okay, and down here are stylers. So this is all mousse. Random ones like these dub amplified things. Treatment masks, hair gels, um, hairsprays. This is all hairspray. Um, hair gel for me and this cream stuff. Um, I've used it before. It's all right. All right, and down here is more shampoo. Kids shampoos because I do give to some people who have kids. Down here is... All the dudes shampoo, dandruff shampoo. Love my axe. I have a ton of axe. That's my brand of choice. Okay, some suave. I like suave too. Okay, and down here is some two in one. And also, this is all like the three in one hair and body wash. Have several people in the family who like that. And this is just really the basic random shampoos. And I have so many of these moisturizing ones. Couldn't fit them up here on the moisturizing shelf. So they got thrown down there, but it's all good. All right, so up here, I got a ton of deodorants, as you can see. Pull it up by brand, type, and you don't have to be disorganized with it. <laughs> okay, this is baby products, um, baby bars, nasal spray, baby powder, some baby wash, wipes. Not a lot of wipes. I need to get more wipes. Okay, then this is all spray deodorants and then body spray. Down here is all the dudes body wash, Axe, Dove, Axe again, that's my favorite. <laughs> Nivea, Old Spice, a lot of suave. Irish Spring, and I got these coasts for free at the Dollar Tree. Okay, all these bar soaps. Uh, I have a grandma who loves bar soap, so I like to stock that up for her. Down here is Neutrogena facial bars. I have a ton of those. And then here is all women's body wash. Tons of suave, tons of suave. I like suave. I don't have a problem with suave products, and my family really doesn't either. All right, so down here is a ton of facial products, and St. Ives, Aveeno, a lot of these things I've actually had for a while. These Oxys, I got on a Kroger Mega Sale a couple months ago. Lots of simple products. And then down here, let's see, Room to Grow. I love that. Um, some lotions, lots of lotion, Gold Bond, um, cotton swab, stuff like that. All right, so this is the over-the-door shoe organizer. I had this in a closet before. Um... And I decided, you know what, let's try to utilize this here. Because this is an, actually a really awesome way to keep the little things. My dream is a pegboard. I'm not going to lie. I would love a pegboard. I don't think I'm ever going to get a pegboard. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas list. I don't know where I'd put it, to be honest. So this is really good. I'm just, look, 
just like right in the middle of these two shelves and it's perfect and holds tons of products um so this is a cheaper option too pegboards are pricey so this is like 10 bucks and it has all these compartments so look at this i got the listerine ready tabs and all this is floss right tons of floss um i got me some toothbrushes and then this is like um bliss text car max stuff like that these are facial masks these are all hair masks and sconcy hair elastic things down there is like Revlon, nail clippers, um, nail files, stuff like that. And then the rest of this is pretty much school items. I have a lot of school supplies. So ink pens, more ink pens. This is black and blue pens. Mechanical pencils, remember from that Walgreens deal a while back. Regular pencils, white out. This is just a bin of random used ones. And then this is crayons and um, colored pencils and stuff like that. All right. Oral care. Toothpaste galore. What kind of couponer would it be without a bunch of toothpaste? So, and I just donated a ton of this too. I'm serious. You can get so much toothpaste with couponing. Okay, this is a um, mouthwash. I don't have a ton of that. I really have more of the biotin um, polygrip down there. And then also polydent, effortant, stuff like that. Razors. Okay. And I love these. These are just basic kitchen carts, I think is what they're called. All right. We got Bic Simply Soleil razors and some Bic disposables. Down here is the like fancier premium women's razors. I believe we get more women's razors through couponing. There are some more women's razors and these are the dudes ones. And I got to say, I am very picky about razors. I honestly don't like several of these kinds, but this Bic Flex 5, if you're a couponer and you're trying to find your husband the perfect razor or you're a dude yourself this razor is epic seriously i've never had a razor work so good and it's free i like i'm sure they were free or extremely close so seriously best razor ever it works so well all right down here's a little cheapo ones and then more like chic and stuff like that all right so here's like the medicine cabinet let me get up so i can show you guys a better view i got ibuprofens here Tylenol. I wish I had more Tylenol. Aspirin. I, there is a really good deal on that, so that's going to be getting filled up. Some pain relievers, Thermacare creams, some like Dr. Scholl's products, and all this is Band-Aids. Down here is eye drops galore. So many eye drops, and then some vitamins. Okay, this is all like cold items, cold and flu remedies, and children's Zyrtec, which that will be non-existent in my stockpile soon because they don't make this anymore, so we won't get it for free. Not the little ones like that. Then there's like Tums, Rolades. Preparation H, Alka-Seltzer, and Doug Lax for life, right? <laughs> it's always a moneymaker. Don't need all this, but it was a moneymaker. And no one around here will take donations for medicine. So I don't exactly know what our solution is for that. All right, so up here is shaving creams. Uh, this is something I was way low on right when this whole pandemic thing started. And I was really getting into Walgreens. And they had like some crazy deal the week this whole pandemic thing all blew up and I wasn't able to go. And so I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I got back into couponing and this crazy awesome deal at Kroger came up where all these edges were free and the skin to me, I think was 25 cents. Totally stocked back up. And I've got a really good razor stock or um, shaving cream stock again. Light bulbs. Not all these were from couponing. Most of them were these were a penny at the Dollar General. Those were free a while ago. I mean, we don't always need an appliance light bulb, but when we do, you know, we got them for free. So awesome. Down here are feminine products. Now I got lots of those. I even, I just donated a ton of them. I had like three times this many. I'm not even joking. And I was finally, once everything started to open back up again, I was able to donate a lot of these things. These are free all the time, all the time. And if you can't use them, donate them. That's really a good thing to do. These are more feminine care products than down here. It's like tampons and stuff. This is just random storage too. Um, so I have room to grow this and I'm sure I will because there's always feminine care deals. All right. So that is it for this personal care area. Let's go into the laundry room and look at the um, cleaning supplies. All right. So honestly, this might be my favorite part of the stockpiles of the cleaning stuff. I just think this stuff is like so essential and so useful and it, in this whole pandemic, these are the things that flew off the shelves like crazy. So this is definitely something that I'm glad to have a nice stockpile on. And in case people start panic buying again, we're going to be good to go. So let's just start over here. This is all toilet paper. These cheapo ones, I used overage at Walmart to get them for free. Like if I had like a $1.50 overage, I couldn't afford a big pack of toilet paper. That was $5, but I could afford three of those little ones. And so that just added up every time I went. Um, I got some Scott's. Um, Comfort Plus. I actually have a Sam's Club pack that I got on a really good deal when we renewed our membership last year. 
and this Family Dollar brand. All right, so the Angel Soft. I got a bunch of Angel Soft. I was getting this one really good deals at Walmart. And then I had a $5 random extra buck from the pharmacy. So I used it to get this toilet paper for free at CVS. All right. Down here is dish soap. Really enjoying getting stocked up on dish soap. I have finished tabs. Um, let me shine, stuff like that. Down here, I have a ton of cleaning products. And this is awesome. Um, some Armor All. And then I have all these like trigger cleaners. I love that. Um, the Lime Away I just got recently for free at the Dollar Tree, which is great. Down here, I have some air care products. Sorry if it's dark. It's a basement, so it's going to be dark. Air care. Let's come up here. I got all these fabric refreshing sprays. Those are always good to have. And I really am stocked up still on those. I need more like Febreze and things like that. I don't have enough of those, but these were good on napkins tissues i need more tissues but this is all right it's better than nothing okay and down here is laundry detergent and this is the thing that's grown a ton since couponing back after the lockdown i don't even have room for all this like seriously i even had to start shoving some on the floor but when it's really a good deal like i've been getting these for 49 cents at Kroger, i can't not do it so i have to get it and i gotta just make room for it so i guess we're gonna start a laundry stock in the corner here all right we got like dryer sheets fabric softener spray and wash downy and then down here this is all pods laundry pods again i have too much detergent oh and there's bleach back there too all right here i have paper towels and this is something i do need more of there's not there's four packs like this some single rolls and a half used pack or barely used i guess i still would like to get more paper towels paper products is something we always need to stockpile all right, cleaning stuff like this. Clorox wipes, you know, usually in our town, the limit's like three. Um, So we'll if they got them in the store, which is rare, we'll grab three of them. So that's why we have some here. I'm a nice little stockpile, which is good because before this whole pandemic, we didn't have a lot of them and we did run out almost. Um, so thankfully I got a good stock in case that happens again. Got some Lysol sprays. Like I said, if they have it on the shelf at the store, usually limit one or two or three. We'll do whatever the limit is. So we have accumulated some of that. All right, hand soaps. This was awesome. I was actually on vacation. Spur of the moment, run into Kroger. I think we were there to get ice. And they had these on sale for 99 cents. These huge i believe it's a 40 32 ounce hand soap refill i stocked up like crazy at 99 cents more soaps here and it's like some sanitizing stuff um and then down here we got swiffer and mr clean and stuff like that so that is my stockpile what do you guys think do you do you think this is good do you think i could use some more paper products i think so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah thank you guys so much for watching